it's Aaron with the Wealthy Environmental Center. Today, in partnership with the Rock County Conservationists and the city of Beloit, we are burning a small section of prairie out at Big Hill Park. Let's learn about why we would burn a prairie. Hi, my name's Dave Benlin. I am a retired biology and environmental studies teacher from Milton High School. And I'm now a volunteer here at the Wealthy Environmental Center. And I'm also a member of the Rock County Conservationists, a group that has worked with Wealthy to do some of the restoration projects here on the grounds. So why would you burn a prairie? Okay, so there's a lot of different reasons why you might want to burn a prairie. One is for control of non-native invasive species, particularly woody things. Uh, things like honeysuckle and Asiatic gooseberry. They're not adapted to survive fires and when you burn, it's often a very effective way to kill those without harming the prairie species or the native savanna species like fir oak and others that are actually adapted to tolerate the fire. Another importance of fire is that it's a way of recycling nutrients. The fire burns up dead vegetation and puts that back into the soil in the form of fertilizer much faster than decomposition does. And in, at this particular site, as you can see here, we're preparing the site for an overseeding. That is, we want to put down new seeds of prairie wildflowers. This site is pretty nice, but it's mostly grasses. And so we'd like to add some flowers to it. By doing the burn, we're preparing it for that overseeding effort. Why burn this section of Big Hill Park? As I mentioned, it's particularly uh, as part of the overseeding effort that we want to do. We do know from both historical surveys and just from walking around the grounds that much of this area was originally either prairie or oak savanna. And here and there, there are even some real distinctive and some unusual species, uh, some that are uncommon some that are even rare for example we have one called cream gentian which is on this wisconsin state threatened species list and by doing burns it'll help restore those plant populations to a more healthy level what types of seeds will you be spreading out here in the burnt section of the prairie so i can give you a much more extensive list but we're particularly concentrating on prairie wildflowers we already have a lot of the prairie grass. That's what burns so well, as you can see in the burn here behind me. But we're gonna put in some of the more showy species, black-eyed Susan, butterfly milkweed, false sunflower. Uh, the idea is to add quite a bit more flowers to this prairie that's mostly been grasses. That will not only be something that'll be pleasant for visitors to observe, but also be very beneficial for folks thanks for learning about burning a prairie with us at the wealthy environmental center i hope to see you next time